Ah, yes. A pleasant good evening to everyone. The time is now 20 minutes to 10 o'clock. 9.39. Okay. Yes, 9.39. 20 minutes to 10 o'clock. And once again, Kalitsunan Disciple, known by many other names, but I am talking Kalitsu, and as you see, it is the carnival time, and Kalitsu, Pan, Soka, it's there, right? So, being as I'm a Kalitsunian, and I'm a, what do you call, a, a, a patriotic Trimbegonian, I'm not perfect, but I'm a patriotic Trimbegonian, I... I try my very best to say something to elevate or to give an advice or my my opinion about Calypso, you know, about the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. More so Calypso, as I'm a Calypsonian. I'm going to cover this last. This is only for reading. Now, as I was saying, and I've said many times, and many of you all can bear witness to that. That the elderly people are missing something which they used to enjoy. There is no liners on Prince Street again during carnival time. There is no course being St. James during carnival time. There is no Rolls Royce disco. There is no impulse. There is no Bigos Cultural Theatre, the Mirama nightclub, or other places. So many things. There is no police band playing Calypso in the square on carnival time. And so many things that the elderly people are missing. And they are looking for some opening to vent their emotions. Their patriotic emotions of Pan and Kalsu. And also Soka. But not having the opportunity to vent, to openly vent their, their feelings in a joyful way about Kalsu or in front of a TV. They They are enjoying the open air, the open air. Soka shows wherever they can enjoy it. Well, um, I passed by Woodford Square today and I know for sure that every year, a week before Carnival, or is it a week or two weeks before Carnival roughly, um, there's a big stage in Woodford Square and, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and what have you, right? I think it's the week before Carnival. I didn't see that. And I thought to myself that if there were to be a big show in Woodford Square or that kind of show in Woodford Square for next week, the stage would have been up already. But I didn't see any stage there. But anyhow, you go on back down to Independence Square. You all know that I've been talking about the elderly and the older people and I, I was just saying that we have to make them feel that life is worth living. The older Calypsonians, the older people. Right? And there it is Friday on the Brian Lara Promenade. An 82-year-old woman was given a thousand dollars for whining, gesticulating, what, what, what have you, what have you want to call it? Do you know why that 82-year-old woman was there? Because it ain't had nothing about Calypso around the port of Spain, similar to that show. So she was there, and others were there. In fact, it's a show that embraces. The young, the not too young, the old, the elderly, everybody. Calypso should have been doing that in Port of Spain. 
but for some reason or the other, people are some people are more entitled and more concerned about who getting in Skinner Park, who ain't getting in, and who's singing here, and who's a singing this tent, and so on. So the old woman was given a thousand dollars. Now I have said that, in fact, I said that about two days before that old woman was given that thousand dollars. Make the elderly people feel satisfied. Not just in Soka, but in Calypso. The elderly peoples are going down and they want to be happy. They, they don't want a frustration around them. Some of them, they are unhappy that the world, their family treats them. You know, they don't. Sometimes I see elderly people in the road and I talk to them and I have to wonder, help them cross the road and where are you going, ma'am? There was an elderly woman I saw coming from the market, you know, one Sunday morning and I stopped and I offered help her because she had about three bags in her hand and like she was forcing to carry those bags. I said, ma'am, she said, ma'am, the children are there, but they won't come with me in the market. She said, Mr. The children are there, but they won't come with me in the market. You know, but it's when time to eat, they all get ready to eat and they'll... that's how it goes these days. Young children most of the time don't want to to work hard for the food that they would like to put in their mouth. They just sit by and um, when mommy finishes cook, they want it. But to help mommy or to go to the market with mommy, no. To walk down the road with mommy or daddy, no. So you see young people walking by themselves, mother going in front, you know. And then they don't give their mother that respect because most of the, of the young people today call their mother by their names. So if the mother name is Mary, they say, Mary, what happened to me? You know. And then Mary, she self has no, all, no respect or little respect. Or she does not know how to bring up her children, so it's a case of children making children to be a part of this great mass, as the Calypso Progress said. The elderly people need to be comforted, right? And I say to Mr. Killer, who was singing the Holy Poly Soka at the time, thank you very much. You see, there is something about the small island people when it comes to culture. They seem to have a more togetherness and unity when it comes to culture. We don't have that. And just two days before that, I said that we, anytime a singer wins a competition, that singer in some way or the other should donate that money or, 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 or seem like to use that money to help a less unfortunate Calypsonian who hasn't even the money to go in the studio, help him, you know, or what, whatever help is needed. No, but nobody doesn't do a thing like that. You win your big show, you want your big show, you don't care nothing about saying, well, listen, these Calypsonians are, are unpopular. Well, listen, disciple, um, you know, dictator, Yellows, you know, many of the Calisonians are not popular. Look, we're having a big show, and come on, you have to get up on yourself and get serious. Say, here, what happened? We're going to put you on. We're going to put you on, and you have the opportunity of letting the crowd know you. So, shake it down, shake down the police. Mm -mm. Some of these big singers go to the States, and still, they don't try it for whatever money they get. To help the lesser known Calisonians, there are many ways you can help a Calisonian. You bring back some empty CD swing, you bring back something for him that you know that he will cherish, he will like, or whatever it is. Anything to elevate him, or to support him, or to help him improve himself within his Calypso as a Calisonian, help him or help her. No, but traders are very selfish and ready, you know. And we like to take that selfishness and make style. Oh, I am. I went to Skinner Park three or four times and I, I went to Munak. And they're looking down at one who. That is not culture. And these same people talking about culture. And these same people talking about uh, the Trinidadian. You know, African, they are Trinidadian. Well, if you are Trinidadian, act like a Trinidadian and help a Trinidadian. 
because I have seen no other soca artist ever come up to the Barnara Promenade and see these elderly people around try and give them something. It takes a soccer artist from Grenada to come and give that woman a thousand dollars because he had master for her age and the energy she was trying to put out. How many soccer artists will come to the Brand Lorry Promenade and buy some copy books and things and give it out to children because children are there. That is culture. Don't mistake culture with selfishness. That is culture. Look, take some copy books. Right? Some of them, they're big in the game, they're big, and they come and they sing and they go. They don't even have a, a, sim a sympathetic, you know, eyes or feeling on when they look around and see older people, young children. So some little child could say, Mommy, I went to the barn, I went to the promenade to, to, I, I, I promenade to listen to the soccer show and look here, I got a book, I got a pen here, you know what I mean? Nothing nothing like that. Local soccer, soccer artists do not think of trying to do these kind of things. All what they're thinking about is elevating themselves, being popular, and being in the game and what? What? So thanks, Mr. Killer from Grenada for giving that woman that woman a thousand dollars and it brings me it, it brings me to ask the question why can't Tuko or why can't businessmen put together and or why can't Tuko put something together and 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 for one night in the Calypso tent for one night allow the elderly to come in and get a free show the pensioners for that matter and get a free show pensioners night in the Calypso tent get a free show Right? Oh, somebody may say, well, things are hard now, but there were times things was, money was no problem, and still there was not that kind of beneficiary within the, the heart of the Calypsonians. That kindness, that down to earth, is a pompousness, you know? Children are there on the promenade. Okay. Let the so all the soccer artists come together and organize something on the last day on the promenade so that old and young could benefit from it in a very educational way. Right? Get some nice things and give it out to the children. Live with little snacks. So give out a bag with little snack and copy book and pen. Right? Or a CD with the soccer. Boy, I tell you sometimes it hurts my heart to see how we Trinidadian just do things. Hmm. And then we talk about culture. That ain't no culture. That ain't vulture. That's, 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 that's a vultuous. Vultures they're talking about. They, grab, they keep what they have and grab what you can. This is the whole thing about it, and then they call that culture. Because you'll be surprised to know that people, that 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 Calusians who was elected for Skinna Park still run a long little village competition and thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep what they have, grab what they can. It surprised me. During the Calypso fiesta when I saw Chuck just yeah, you know, my red, my, my blood turned from red to blue. So, what, what is Chuck just doing there? Oh, yes, he has a right. There is no law saying that he cannot be there. But then there is a conscience. Conscience. There is a feeling. David Weather won it once, twice, three times, and even the word match, and he said, boys did the same thing. This is, a, this is what is called culture. This is what you see also voice came in and he won it once, twice. Give another person a chance. Let three be the climax or the limit, right? And give it a, you, Chuck, that's there nine times. So what are you trying to prove, Chuck, that's? What are you trying to prove? To be a greedy grandfather? A avaricious grandfather? 
a grandfather with no sort of feeling for those who need a chance to come forward? Especially knowing that these things are corruptive things. Because I've said before, I think 40 people alone that could sing Calypso. It's more than 40 people that could sing Calypso. Right? And over and over, many of those that could sing Calypso are left out every year for no reason at all. I'm saying so. And while you will find sometimes one name keep coming, popping up over and over and over and over and over. And if new names come in where they know somebody say, well, this is my son or blah, 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 blah. Right? Now, not to say that because every new name that came in didn't come in, honestly. But we know, the Prime Minister know, everybody knows that Trinidad is a corrupt place. Right? And everybody knows that most of the times you get through with something is because you know somebody. And corruption in Trinidad and Tobago has gone beyond what it should be. So Tuko, try and call a shows for the elderly people. Right? I know you are trying to do your best for the elderly people. Otherwise, otherwise, and speaking about when Calypso, when Carnival time comes around, or when there's a, 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 a lot of Calypso activities, try and make these people happy. There are young people who move from one show to the next show, and these people know what is Carnival because they were here long. Some of them are 70 years, like myself, something more than 71, like myself, almost 71. Some of them are 80, the 82 year old woman. She, she she, she knows what is carnival, and she probably she is looking for carnival, but she couldn't see what she wants to see. She couldn't hear what she wants to hear, so she had to divert herself to Woodford Square. Right? This is what she had to do. She wants to be in the thing, in the thick of the thing. And she winds down and she gets down. And, as, and some of them know it, you know. They know it word for word. What is Calypso doing? Now, we, we don't have any Calypso word match again because, as I said before, Soka, the pan has gone Soka, right? So if, if, if one had to say, well, listen, let's have a steel band word match competition, the same Soka is going down with, right? You ain't having no... Soka has has taken has taken over everything, right? Soka has taken over everything, right? Calypso on the radio station is coming to little or nothing. And which part Calypso going to come and get a wood match now? Tell me something. A Calypso getting a wood match now is like a miracle. The last Calypso that got a wood match, I, I don't know if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, is the deceased shadow, bless his soul, stranger some years ago, Calypso. Now, what I'm saying, my people, Ogoso Tuko and the executive and all those big Calypso men cannot think Calypso is dying out. Is it no Calypso would march again? It is no Pan Calypso again? Right? How many times do you hear Calypso on the radio station? Right? It don't know Calypso Fet to say, well, you're going to have Calypso Fet. Everything is soca. Flags in the air get down. Right? The Calypso tents are, are, the population of the Calypso tents are diminishing because you, you look at the age group in the Calypso tents. Right? And once soca takes over, nobody in pain 150 to go to the Calypso tents. Oh, yes. The other pay 600, 500 to go to a soca show, and that's it. Everybody could wave and fear for that. I know chairs to sit down, you know. Because you, know, you see, what we have to understand, my people, or overstand, as I say, is that when time changes, it changes according to what the system is pushing, not what the people want. The system has a way of using strategy, psychology, to push something if they know that they pursue it for some reason or the other so they could gain from it. So in order for Soka to make the system, we'll push Soka every day on the radio station. In order for some Soka tune to, to win the world match, they will push it, they will push it, they will push it. They ain't pushing no Calypso. 
Yeah. Kalisu can make good match again. As I said before, for Kalisu to make good match as America, some piece must be best as it's worth to make good match. Or some Orisha, Babalao must be throw some water, sprinkle some water, shake a calabash. You know what I mean? And I know any Kalisu then for him to go and make good match for Kalisu. But you do have that kind of thing again. You do not have this kind of thing again. It's so right true. So right true. And the Calypsonians are doing little or nothing to compete or to challenge what is going on. So after Carnival, everything is dead. And remember that I said, take away Calypso from Carnival and put it within the month of August we start with a bang, emancipation, and ends with a bang, independence. So it will be a month of activity with Calypso tents being opening, Calypso tents open out, and then all the, um, the accent will be on wine and jam, but the accent will be on, let's hear what he or she is saying, because that time of year is a serious time of year. I think soon after that, the budget will be reading out and so on. August, September is a serious time of the year. Right? So we're going to hear Calypso. Yes, the so will be there and so on. But then don't Calypsonians and diehard Calypsonians look out because Soka is taking over the lyrics of Calypso. Voice. Turner. Right? Like crabs in a bucket. Voice. Many times, even hook me. Just look at how they arrange the, the verses and everything. So therefore, what Calypsonian can boast about Calypso when you're getting some serious lyrics in Soka? You remember the Calypso? Bring back Sparrow, bring back Kitchena. So therefore, the Calypsonian, Calypsonian himself has to change that, that rhythm and that melody structure and come up with something to challenge that. And that is why this year, if you listen to my Calypso, and I think other Calypsonians did the same thing, you will hear, old people want to live, young people want to die, old people want to live, young people want to die. Don't ask me why this ain't no lie. Old people still holding on. All their youthful days are gone. Young people like Lego peace put up out. They become this. Is, you see, I try to give it a baseline. A baseline. Like, with one or two chords. Not big setter. In and out chords and one setter. What they call um, minors and augmented you know a simple little thing going down routine because this is what the young people want right you have all these big sort of chords and augmentation and transposing from one scale to the next you're going down with a simple thing boom boom how long i see you give me a whiner give me a whiner mm -hmm. Give me a whiner, how long I see you? Give me a whiner, give me a whiner. And then they're going down, right? Hook me is very nice, very, very nice. And you have the lyrics to back it up too. Okay, voice has a thing very nice too. Turner has a thing very nice too. So you're getting soca music and you're also getting lyrics that could be compared with the lyrics in the Calypso, or even better lyrics, because what is more sweet and nice when you get good lyrics, good melody, good tempo, good up tempo, you know, going down a soca tempo with good lyrics, good melody. You want to know Calypso, like, no, we must be able to maintain the basics, but you see what I'm saying is that we have to develop from the basics in order to fight what is going on today. Right? Otherwise, the basics will disappear. So while the basics is there, we maintain the basics, and we try to do something that will have, that will have 
the vibration of the basics with it still. Because when 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 tennis in crabs in a barrel, I want to come out come out the barrel for whatever. That is calypso. That is calypso. That you know, I guess you wine and wine and hands in the air and repeating the same thing over. That is calypso. When voice so sound, right? I'm alive. That is it. Right? Look at Famanapi. It's a whole story. Right? And if you want me to go, you can be looking the way you do. You can be cooking the way you do. You can be hooking me if you want me to go. You can be looking the way you do. You can be walking the way you do. Because you're hooking me. It's a story, right? It's a story. Nice. Well done. So, Calypsonians, Calypsonians, try and raise up. Try and raise up. Help the elderly. The elderly. Right? Keep one show. Keep an opening eye show for the elderly. Let the elderly come in. Let the pensioners come in. Make a meeting with government or whatever is how much money is allocated for certain things to happen. There must let me tell you something. You must have you must treat the elderly as good. They are the people who made it what it is today. They are the people who saw the transformation from Calypso to Soka, who saw and experienced the transformation from one type of steel man to the next type of Steel band, rocket pan, and all these things. These are the people, right, who were at the, the grassroots level to make what it is happening today a reality. Bless the soul of this is um, Rashotiai and many others who have gone before. And we, I am still here, like others as a pensioner, trying to hold on. And in trying to hold on, we are being pushed down. We are being humiliated. It's an indignation for us to be treated that way. And then these same scams, these, these notorious people talking about Kaiso and the Trinidadian. And look, it, it, took, it, it took a Grenadian to have a heart, to have a feeling to say, come, mommy, look a thousand dollars. And you have all the, the Marshall Montano and all the, those who there, they come and they say, you go on the way, no feeling. Now, I don't know, and please forgive me, that if within their personal life, because sometimes what young people do things they don't know really, that they contribute in a kind way to poor people or whatever, whatever. But I only talking about what I saw or what I know. So what they say, what I and see had agreed. Get the old people, man. Take them for a bus ride and say, listen, man, come up to the tent. And when they come to the tent, make them feel more happy. Let them have eats and drinks or whatever it is. They are pensioners. They are on the way out. They are feeling the, the, the breaking down of the immune system because now that's getting stronger. They are getting weaker. I am feeling it. I'm not as strong as I used to be at the age of 40, 35. But, you know, I, I am not getting to experience what this thing age is called and I'm trying to hold on to it. In many ways, I'm strong, yes, because of the fact that I don't eat meat and I I try to be organic with my food and, you know, I don't eat a lot of junk and I, I'm not on this sex thing. I have my wife and my wife and me and my wife alone and I try to live a very honest life and, and what have you, what have you? I mean, as I say, I, I'm not a perfect human being, but I'm just telling you, right? I don't drink, I don't smoke or what have you, right? But all in all, we are going down and we need that kind of support. Not just from thing, but from our family, from everybody. We need that kind of support. 
Let elderly people feel that life is worth living. Don't make them feel that they should be giving up. If your grandfather is a Calitonian, your father is a Calitonian, or what have you, support it. Support it. Because he's not doing anything wrong. And if that's the only thing that he can do, please don't turn a, a, a deaf ear and a blind eye. And then say you are African or say, because it's African, you know. Because when the slave ship came here, didn't bring the Indians, the Ascension and Guyanese and all these things we actually call ourselves. They brought African here and then we, was, we were placed on different islands and so on. And there is where they give us the name Vincentian. And you remember long ago, you said, Ronnie Vincentian is a Grenadian small islander. That is just to have us this in a vicinity amongst ourselves. You know, we have to be over that. We all, all of you, are one family. Right? So. I was at the St. James Carnival today, and I am always saying that, oh gosh, whoever is in charge of the Minister of Culture, let some steel band come on the road now. Oh God, this child, Johnny Drummond, the DJ trucks, what kind of mentality you want them to have about the steel band? That is only, it is only an instrument for panorama. This steel band man is one of the hardest working man in the nation when it comes to carnival time. Every night he is there. He goes home late in the morning, risking his life with a crime situation. And when he goes to the Pan Panam City, he just doesn't stand up and sing. He has to be jumping and show that kind of. I'm a Kalisuna. When I go to the Kalisuna tent and I can like sing, I could leave and come home. This Tibetan man cannot do that. He has to remain until the end. Let us support one another. And I notice most of the people doing the recording in the, in the recording studio, they don't come to hear the Kalisunians. The music writers and everything. Let us support one another. Let us make Kalisu and Soka. Let us make Calypso. Well, I know we had limbo, but limbo like, like they dismiss limbo. Because at one time you couldn't have a calypso show without a limbo on stage. I want somebody to limbo like me. Limbo, limbo. Well, look, I want somebody to limbo like me. Limbo, limbo like me. Limbo. You ask many of the young people what about limbo. They don't think about limbo because they imagine limbo. They don't know if it's a go up or down. Right? So what I'm saying is that let Kaliso be the father. Let the old time Kaliso be the grandfather. Let the Kaliso that is coming up now be the father. And let Soka be the child. But it ain't so. It look as though now like Soka is the father and the mother of everything. That's how it is. Right? Because soccer, soccer captivates everybody. The young, the old, the young, everybody. It's nice. I love it. It's nice. Yeah. But then let us not have, let us not show the pan music. What, with, with, what do you really want those children to think about when every time they play mass is only a DJ on a truck? Have a pan situated by a corner. Or her pan could be on truck too long ago when I was a push pan. Oh, and when you used to push pan long ago, the 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 um they had pan pushers and it was hard to be pushing pan, especially the the, the um rhythm section. And calypso was the end thing. No, you don't have no pan to push. Everybody gone so, right? So therefore, there is no excuse that pan could be on the truck. So then, what is the idea of only having speakers DJ music on a truck? It can't have pan on a truck too. The first band I know to bring out pan on a truck, again, if I'm not mistaken, was at that time they were sponsored by Coca Cola, the Desperados. We said Coca Cola gave Desperados. And the first band that I know to have a, what you call, um, 
an electrifying song from the steel band was Highlanders steel band they have really fed at well right ivory and steel when he fed at well the, the great pianist ivory and steel right I think the first band to win for the panel, I'm all gosh, I have everything written in, in written down there and I forget me. Right. But 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 pan along the neck, I could remember pan along the neck. There were times you couldn't find little children in a pan. We are missing such such people like Sito Balasquez. This is George Bailey. The man in Belmont used to take copper and make such a mass out of it. It at times when Sito Vala, that squares, um, Gulliver Travels, a bandit with this big giant, Snow Kingdom, right? Well, hmm. Kaiso, Kaiso, Kaiso. Tuko. When it comes to carnival time, let us give the the, the, the younger Caledonian, the older Caledonian, a feeling of nostalgic, a nostalgic feeling, a patriotic feeling. Right? Don't have them out there like if well, let me knock him. You know what I mean? See if you can get them to be involved. If you have two elderly Caledonian, you know. Singing in Scanapa. Have them as guest artists too. Let the young people know that this man has been singing fix it. Look at a man like Durango. A lovely culture Durango has. Survivor. Then you shall call the man and give him a boy. I know to say now. Like Calisono is come you know what Calisono come like? A secret order. Calisono come like a secret order now. You only see things happening and you don't know what they were saying that caused things to happen. So, people, this is a hectic week. And as far as I see it coming to me, I will report to you. This is Umar Muhammad, Khalid Sunan Disciple. Have a good night. Tomorrow, I think you have Marshall Monday, you have the other shows coming up. You have the, 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 um, the, Fantastic Friday coming up and so on, right? Well, I sing with the icon scalp, so tell them things will be happening also, right? So look out for it on Facebook. I think I'll put one or two things down for you. Once, once I know how it's happening, I'll put it on Facebook, right? Families, all the family get together. This is the last week. Support the college children. Come to the tent. Come, imagine family. You are your are son, you are uncle, you are grandfather in a family, and like everybody just that he take me, he's like a son and they're done with that. But when time comes for army for time, all of them are ready to jump up on me. You know? Family come out and support. Support your cousin, your uncle, nephew, nene, aunt, who's singing on a stage for carnival. Make the calypso tent look full with families. Right? Have a good night, everybody. Bless sing from the one above. Blessing from from the most high. So be it.